Does Christmas make you feel like you're trapped on an intense roller coaster? You want it to stop, but at the same time, you don't want it to ever, ever end? You feel both excited and totally and utterly exhausted, verging on delirious. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I find it very stressful sometimes. It is exhausting. I'm already tired just thinking about it. <laughs> OK, no need to panic. You're probably just suffering from Christmas brain. Na, 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 na. We know that engaging in Christmas activities is affecting the way our brain functions. It's affecting our behaviour right down at the cellular level. Christmas Brain was first discovered by a team of Danish scientists who went searching for the spirit of Christmas. The scientists rounded up 20 healthy Danes, half who celebrated Christmas, half who didn't. When the Christmas lovers were shown Christmas-themed pics, a network of regions lit up in their brains. These are regions of the brain which are involved in um, our senses, what we feel and how we act in different situations. My trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. Stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, if you have too much of it, like what happens sometimes over Christmas, this can actually impair our brain function. So if you have a loved one who turns into the devil each December, it could be neurological. You might have difficulty making good decisions, you might be more selfish, you might even be more aggressive. And turns out innocent festive tunes are actually a tool for Christmas brain manipulation. Probably. When we listen to Christmas music, lots of neurochemicals are released and that not only raises our mood and makes us feel really positive, it also makes us more motivated. So for example, if we are shopping and we hear Christmas music around us, we might be more motivated to buy things. Let's give it a crack. Silent night, holy night. I think it's working. I think I might go off to the oh, shops. What are you going to get? Earplugs. The dreaded Christmas shopping? It plays a key role in Chrissy Brain too. Not only does it make us feel good, the gratitude that we get, that has a, a really profound effect in terms of um, our mental health and our physical health as well. <laughs> so if it's all getting a bit too much this year, just blame it on the brain. <laughs> now, my wife reckons I'm a bit of a Christmas curmudgeon, a bit like mm. Tom, I think. Mm. Does that mean I'm immune from Christmas brain? No, it means you've got bad Christmas brain. <laughs> I've got good Christmas brain. I love Christmas. I love it. I'll, I'll come along with me. Yeah. Come along on a ride with me you, to you, Happy you, Christmas. A Julie, Go a Julie Goodwin hand might help I'm you I'm with Jules. <laughs> I'm with Jules. <laughs>